Hello Hard Video what's up? welcome back. Today for you I've put together my best tips for shooting video off your smartphone screen. It's something we see more and more in TV series and films, so I thought now was the time to tackle it so that when you need to shoot this kind of shot, you'll have these tips in the back of your mind and you'll be ready to crush it. Here's how to get your shot looking like this, to this. These tips are not gonna be too tricky, anyone can try them and hopefully they'll help you whatever your situation. For sure, the biggest thing you can do to get a shot like this looking good is to get a really nice balanced exposure. Bear in mind the first thing you're gonna need to do is to go into your phone settings and turn any auto brightness off. After that, the method that worked really well for me was to get a really nice background exposure, bring it up to exactly where you want it, then bring your phone in and then adjust the brightness of your phone screen. Really take your time to make sure you get this right. Do some test shots, try some different settings, and get it right in camera, you'll be really glad you did. Whatever you do, make sure your phone screen isn't too bright. If you do, you could have clipped highlight areas and you can't recover those areas, so be careful. The focal length, of course, is up to you. However, in this shot, I used a 35 millimeter lens because it's meant to look very similar to the way that the, the eye sees. So I wanted it to look very natural in the way that you would look at your phone. Kind of like a faux first person perspective. However, my preference when it comes to the over the shoulder shot that you'll see in films and TV series is to have an, a slightly wider focal length and then get in a little bit closer to your talent. It, to me, it gives it a more intimate feel like you're really in the action, almost as if you're stood behind them spying on whatever they're doing on their phone. A big consideration whether you're shooting outdoors or indoors is to avoid glare and reflections at all costs. Really, the only thing you can do to avoid this is to tilt the screen move your talent, move the camera, or modify your lighting somehow, just avoid it. It's something to keep in mind. Just to really briefly touch on camera settings, I don't wanna to go too much into it, but personally, I prefer to shoot in a log mode or a low contrast setting. And that's only because I like to have more of a safety net when it comes to very bright areas, highlight areas, and I just don't, I wouldn't like it if I was to shoot something and I wasn't able to recover highlights. So that's why I do that. I would recommend experimenting with your camera. This example was shot in a very typical picture profile, very standard, lots of contrast, and that means that this could have easily been overexposed, particularly around the screen of the phone and the monitor. And on the contrary, this is S-Log2, which as I said, I use as a safety net so I don't clip highlights. And here it is with a bit of coloring. Also in this case, I would turn off any kind of in-camera sharpening. And that's only because I, I find it's best to decide the amount of detail that you have on your smartphone screen afterwards. It's kind of hard to tell in camera how much you've got, so I would turn it off, you can decide that later. Most smartphone screens have a refresh rate of 60 hertz. And whilst you're not gonna get flicker like you would with some strip lighting and that kind of thing, I, I would still say just to be on the safe side, I would synchronize your camera's shutter speed to the same as your smartphone, so which is, 60 hertz would be 1 60th of a second, or you can double it if you're doing any kind of high frame rate modes. You can go 1 1 20th of a second. As I said, just to be on the safe side. Now I know a lot of people when they shoot video on their DSLR or whatever, they like to have a really nice wide open aperture because at the end of the day it means cleaner footage and nice blurred background and that kind of thing. But I would say in this case, I would probably stop down just a little bit. Uh, on the lens that I'm using in this example, I, this is a, an f1.4 lens and I've actually stopped it down to f5.6 and the reason for that is it gives me that extra depth of field so that if there's any kind of hand movement with my phone it's not going to be out of focus. So there we have it, just some really quick easy tips but they all make a massive difference and maybe, maybe there was something that you hadn't thought of. Anyway, it's been fun as always and um, I've loved doing this. I'll uh, catch you next time. See you guys.